Insight, uh, Eric from Waterwave TV here. Uh, great, great win to start the day. Um, well, I have a question. Uh, teaming with Scrap, he is definitely one of those uh, high volume shit talkers. I don't know if you heard what he said on stage at the end of the game, but kind of bashing the Thieves fan base. Uh, how, what is it like teaming with a guy like that? Does he energize y'all? Do you ever have to calm him down? Or what is it like teaming with Scrap? No, he's one of them people, you know, you just got to let him fly, you got to let him do his thing, uh, you know, feed into his energy because he'll bring it to the team. Um, you know, I love playing with the kid. Best they are in the world right now. Um, you know, and feed into his energy, you just feel un like untradeable. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing playing with someone like that. Mm -hmm. Game five, first match of COD Champs. Is this what you guys thought it was going to be? Was it going to be a competitive match? Do you think you're going to blow by him? What is your morale going in after that game? Yeah, you know, LA Thieves obviously won the last champs. They won Major Four this year. They're not a pushover team. They have a great system, uh, great players on that team. And I feel like we match up well against them, but I feel like we play the same way. Um, you know, we definitely knew it wasn't going to be an easy game. Uh, could have easily lost map four. And we'd be sad right now uh, thinking about it. But, you know, came in, played our game, um, slammed them a little bit last map. But, um, no, it definitely wasn't going to be an easy game. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're aware, but there were some very passionate Ultra fans in the front row there. They were screaming, they were chanting, doing their thing. Uh, how did the crowd fuel, fuel you guys today? Yeah, you know, we always see the, there's a few faces at every event. Um, you know, just seeing them making the trip to support us um, really adds in that extra layer of, like, like need to perform. Um, so, yeah, I mean, love seeing those guys. I appreciate them coming out to every event. Definitely hypes us up. We know they're there, even when we look like we're locked in. Um, yeah, it's just great. It's a great feeling having fans like that. Thank you. It's all from me. Hey, Zach, with Esports Illustrated. Um, I, I asked, I talked to Toby last week or two weeks ago, and I wanted him to give, him, give me one word to describe how the seasons went. He gave me roller coaster. Flux gave me topsy turvy, which I thought was hilarious. What's one word you got to describe your season this year? Hard. Hard? It's, it's been a hard season. Yeah. Um, you're coming off a major where, it, you know, you were at home in front of your home crowd, kind of like what he was talking about. Um, wh how do you adjust to, you know, coming off of a, a, a home major, now you're playing in front of, you know, everyone's fans? Yeah, uh, playing in front of, like, your home crowd is always a great feeling. Um, love playing in front of those guys. It's just something you need to experience to understand how it feels. Um, but, you know, for the majority of my career, I've played against the fans. So it's kind of one of them things where I feel like sometimes there's a part of me that prefers playing in front of, like, people that don't want me to win. Because, I don't know, it just turns me into a villain or something, I don't even know. Uh, I love it. Um, hey, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you again, going? man. Did you, did, you, did you watch the video, get a chance to watch it at all? No, yeah. It went, it went out on, like, I think yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. You need a mic? Didn't need a mic for it? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, I'm good. So you guys, last time, I, actually, last time I really spoke to you guys was Major Three. You guys coming off a championship. Um, how's the like? How's the feeling coming out? You know, from that championship to you know competing for um, the, the overall championship. Yeah, you know, champs is like the biggest. It's the event everyone wants to win. The event everyone dreams of winning. You know, getting that ring. Uh, the money's a nice bonus, but I feel like the the ring is just irreplaceable. Um, and this is just the big one that everyone locks in for, and they just want to win so bad. You were locked in, man. You were, yeah. you were frying today. <laughs> um, so, you guys are in Vegas. What are you guys going to do if you uh, end up winning champs? I don't know. I think the Ryan says say I'm gambling, but I'm not much of a gambler. Uh, you might catch me going back to Toronto, bottle service, the lot. I might end up in the Maldives somehow. I don't know. It'd be a rough night. Yeah, going all around the world. I don't think any of us gamble. Waste the money. <laughs> but we'll, we'll use the money smart. I know, I know Jamie likes to say this. So, yeah. we'll find a way to spend it, though. What about, what about tonight? You got a big win? You guys going to go eat somewhere? Just going to chill, you know, like maybe sit back and just have a breather. Like, Jesus, that was a rough yeah. one, you know, that was a grueler. Um, but then we'll just lock it in for phase tomorrow. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, how, how are you guys uh, preparing for uh, phase? I feel like the same way we've been trying to prepare for them for the last, like, few months, basically. Um, like, we, last time we beat them was, was major free, and we ended up winning that tournament. So, obviously, just trying to you know, shut them down early on because they are a team that just whenever they get momentum, they just steamroll you sometimes. But, you know, just start, start it strong and just, that way just carry it out throughout the series. Bless you. <laughs> no, great stuff. I always appreciate talking to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck the rest of the way. Uh, I have one question. Uh, Jamie, can you talk me through the, uh, I think, the sixth round where you're all just like on the bomb and you like snake the bomb and then get a kill on Kenny? Yeah, so I was defusing. 
I was just kind of like, you know, chilling, home square, as you do, and hoping he didn't kill me. And my teammates started screaming, you know, he's, he's back alley, back alley, back alley. So I was like, all right, I'm going to lay here, put the bomb down, and snake the bomb, and there he was, freebie. Good stuff.